Every house has a story, and If This House Could Talk is going to be Reading 375's way of telling the stories of our houses and buildings in town. I'm here with Sarah Brucalacchio, who has been spearheading this project. Um, I believe that this was first done in Newburyport, is that correct? It was actually first in Cambridgeport. Oh, okay. And the way I learned about it was in Newburyport, we were up there a couple summers ago for a Yankee homecoming, and they do that as one of the um, events and I saw that and I, I thought, I sort of filed it away in my head that it would be really fun to do. And then when the 375th um, was coming around the corner, I came to one of your meetings and yeah. <laughs> presented it. So um, what is If This House Could Talk? Well, it's been said that the shortest distance between two people is a story. Mm. And to me, If This House Can Talk is, gives everybody in Reading uh, that opportunity to, t to share a story. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be a historical story. It can be a story about the people that live there or something that's happened in their house. Um, just really anything, just so that we can get people walking around and uh, look, reading these signs and getting to know their neighbors a little better. So we have custom signs, correct? Yes. So um, what, what do people do if they're interested in participating in If This House Could Talk? Uh, well, number one, they come by RCTV and they pick up the signs that we've had made up mm -hmm. that have the nice 375 logo. And uh, they also go to reading375.com and under events, they select If This House Could Talk mm -hmm. and register here. And all you need to do is put in your address and your name and your email, and we'll put a little marker on a map. So, Great. so during those two weeks, you can just look at that map and 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 make sure you walk by, ride your bike by, or, yeah. or and learn about all these different uh, stories that we have here. So, how many houses do you have signed up so far? I know it's been pretty popular. I think just before uh, I came here, I checked. I think it's at 64. Wow, that's great. Yes, yes. And I know some of us have given signs to people, sort of hand delivered them to people mm -hmm. that we know have good stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they haven't uh, all registered because I was checking on that too. <laughs> uh, but I think our goal would be to have 150. Great. So. That's so what we're shooting yeah, for. Yeah, a little under halfway there. I think that's that's definitely possible. I think it has a snowball effect because as people are doing their signs and talking to their mm -hmm. friends about it, they're they're showing they're getting more interest. Yeah, I also think that um, when I was talking about this originally, people thought that it was it meant that you were doing a house tour of your house, and that's not oh. correct. This is entirely external. Yes, correct? all from the sidewalk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no housekeeping involved. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, and I know that I've seen some very historic focus signs and some very creative signs. Yes, yes. Uh, so it really can span whatever you'd like to say. Yes, I, and I, I love hearing, every day I get an email or something from someone about another story and they'll say, is this a good one? And most of the time, it, yes, of course, they're <laughs> so fascinating to yeah. me. You know, I'm, re I'm really enjoying it myself. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that this too is not a once in a lifetime experience here in Reading. I think it'll well, live on too. That would be great. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing this to Reading and for coming down tonight to talk about it. I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, you'll get more registrants and um, it'll be a really great two, it spans the full two weeks. Yes. Yeah. So yes. signs will go up on May 31st and stay up until June 15th. Or the night of the 30th. Oh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, Early risers. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much, Sarah. Yep. Thank you, Katie. Yeah.